Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. We're heading out today on just a little ride, so and a, and a bit of a catch up. Uh, a couple of things that have happened over Christmas that things we've done to the bike and a couple of little updates and stuff. And uh, so yeah, just wanted to get out and go for a quick, quick ride after work and have a catch up. So a couple of new things that we've done over Christmas. We've completely changed the look of the bike, which I'm super happy about. Um, it's something that I always wanted to do. There's so many graphics out there and different sticker sets that you can get. And it's always a decision on what one to go for, what's going to look best and are you going to be happy with it? I mean, they're not the, not the cheapest thing in the world. So it's got to be right first time. And uh, yeah, I went for a, a black and white vibe, I guess. Uh, the Fox, Fox setup, which I'm, I'm really, really happy with, to be fair. Um, a couple of different ideas and designs I had in mind, but I'm, I, I'm super happy with the way it's come out. So that's all good. Uh, what else have we done? So on the last video, obviously you saw me fall off. You saw me uh, have that little incident off-road and it was quite apparent that a back wheel or a back tyre sorry is, is something that I desperately desperately needed so I uh, spoke to a couple of people online which we'll get on to later on uh, people online well uh, some funny ones out there but so I decided to bite the bullet and change the back tyre so I've gone for a, a Maxxis rear tyre super super knobby tyre so partly the reason I'm out today is just to just to give it a rip, see how it feels, see if it's any different to the last one that I had. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, considering there was literally zero grip on that last one. So yeah, just want to go for a quick burn, test it out, see how it is. As you can, see, oh God, as you can see, it has not stopped raining for the last week easily. So I've not had a chance really to get out have a little ride so now's the perfect time speak to the guys over at e-bike south uh, based in chichester really really nice guys over there as well super helpful so big shout out to them for hooking us up with that and if you do are anywhere near the south or i think they even do uh deliver around the uk so yeah and if you need go check them out um highly recommend them so i'm going to be posting a little video, I may have already have posted it before this one, um, of the installation of the tyre. Like I've said in previous videos, I've got no experience with bikes. I've got no experience with mechanics or anything like that. So doing these little bits to the bike, it's just a massive learning curve really. And I've just had a lot of fun doing it. You know, the graphics set as well. Um, you think it's quite easy just putting stickers on a bike but there's, there's quite a bit to it there's a little bit of a technique and a bit of skill involved so don't get me wrong like I said I've got no experience and I managed to do it so I'm sure if, uh, if you're considering it or you've already done it you'll know um, it's, it's, it's not that bad but yeah great fun and oh, I just love the love the how much it changes the look it's really cool so I'll probably throw up a little montage of how the bike's looking now so bear in mind the montage hasn't got the the new tire on so it has changed the look a little bit on the rear but you, you get the picture of what i'm talking about
yeah, so like you can see, a lot different to what it used to look like. And I'm just, uh, I'm not shredding too hard here because it is still so muddy, so slippery, but already this rear tyre, I know I keep banging on about it, but it's huge, but literally grip power straight away, nothing at all. I am now considering the front tyre. I thought I had grip on it, but nothing compared to this Maxxis. It's, yeah, it's incomparable, really. Um, I managed to get round here, but I can feel the front wheel as soon as I start turning. It's just starting to slide, not quite getting enough traction as, as the back, but definitely something we can look at. And now I know the sort of little tricks and, and tips of how to get these tyres on and off should make it a lot easier oh. there you go still talking about how much water you've had i mean it's just still relentless i mean it hasn't rained in like two days but there's still so much surface water around i mean i am next to a river so Jesus. the other bits i wanted to jump on and, and just have a chat about and it's um going this way mate <laughs> thank you Sorry? Why? Oh, sorry, mate, I didn't know. Okay, no worries. I, I didn't know, did I? So sorry. Does that not go down to the, the river, the Wallington River? Oh, okay, you can't follow the, can't follow next to it then? No. Oh, okay. No worries. I'm going go this way, though, yeah? Yeah, you shouldn't really be on there on that, really. It's a footpath. It's not really for electric motocrosses, is it? Uh, anyway, just stick to the footpath. Yeah, cool. Thank you. So that probably links on quite nicely as to the comments that I was going to say. People in this world, man. Oh, my days. You know, I've got the utmost respect for YouTubers, right? Everyone thinks YouTube is easy. I'm not a YouTuber at all. I just make a couple of silly little videos of me riding around on my bike. I'm not a YouTuber. But just the experience that I've had of posting videos, don't get me wrong, some, some within the community, within, well, I wouldn't even say e-bikes, I know, but the Suron community, just the nicest people. Everyone wants to help. There's no negativity that I've experienced. But, uh, geez, man, there's some proper keyboard warriors out there. Just slow down for this guy. Thank you. Thank you. There are some nice people. Yeah, like I was saying, there's some, some proper keyboard warriors out there, man, that have just got nothing better to do than hate and slate on people. It's unbelievable. Um, where I'm new to YouTube and I allow comments and stuff like that and you know I don't get many you can see from the videos I don't get many comments at all I don't get many views at all but the one comment oh, come through I think it was the the video of me just testing out how fast the stock Zeron goes I'm on a private road you know okay I'm on the pavement but to get to the private road I don't know who the guy was, I've, I've deleted the comments, I just can't be bothered with such negativity, but straight on the, oh, this is not DVLA registered, this is not tech, this is not insured, you're not doing the e-bike community any good by posting this video, oh, jeez man, calm down, like, how do you know it's not registered by DVLA, how do you know I'm not tax insured on this thing? Oh my god, what's your life like where you have to go after people and write such crap, non-helpful comments like that? You know, it's like, dude, ease up. You've got nothing better to do with your life. You know, I laughed it off. The thing is, at the end of the day, what which really makes me laugh is the fact that, you know, he's written this comment, he's taken time out of his day to just just to be a bit of an arsehole really I deleted it it took me literally three seconds to delete his comment what a waste of time so 
appreciate if you are going to comment and it's constructive. Fair play, absolutely got time, you know, all the time in the world for that. To start writing negative stuff on, on anything that I do is like, uh, not to me. Having said that, and going back to the, the Surong community, such a decent group of people. Um, you know, I watch people from all over, from America to Australia and, and in the UK. Even Germany, I mean, shout out to Overvolted. Um, they've, on my Instagram, commented quite a few times, they've always liked my photos, you know. Never met them, never gonna meet them, but just always love from those guys. So, thank you so much to them. Maybe I should have saved that guy with his dog a minute ago for my angry dog walking video. So hopefully we got that one on camera. The last time the, uh, the GoPro cloud right at the, the minute where he gave me a bit of confrontation. And it's the same with that one. And it is the look of this bike. I get it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you can't go down there. You shouldn't be riding e-motos through here. Nothing. It's literally a farmer's bill. Yes, I, you know, I'm not going to have an argument with him. I'm not going to get in a fight over it. He's much bigger than me and his dog look quite angry. So I'd probably, uh, I'd probably bet on him to win, to be fair. So now I'll wrap the video up. Um, I feel I've waffled on enough about what I wanted to say. So, yeah, if you would like to leave a comment <laughs> please do if it is negative ah oh, take as much time as you like write me a novel's worth of negative comments do it i would love to read it then delete it so yeah if you want to leave a comment please do feel free i'll uh I'll keep the nice ones and yeah give us a give us a thumbs up while you're there it's free isn't it give us a thumbs up why not and while you're there why not subscribe it's completely free it takes a second but yeah thanks for watching thanks for coming along with me thanks for listening thanks for listening to my rants my thoughts my opinions but yeah, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.